quick video to explain how the power button on the Sonos Roam works and the different modes of power on and power off that it actually goes through. So here I've got the um, LED light, solid white, meaning this is ready to stream music and it's on. If I wanna turn it off, I can press the button on the back, just one tap, I hear that tone and the light goes out. So you might think, well, I've turned it off. Well, you really have it. You've put it into standby mode. And by being in standby mode, when I tap the button again, almost immediately I'm gonna get a solid white light and I'm ready to play music again. Well, what if I wanna turn it off completely so that there's no battery drain on the Sonos Roam at all while it's sitting there and I'm not using it? Um, I found that after two days, the battery will drop from 80, from 100% down to 80% by sitting in that stand, standby mode. So after about four or five days, I would expect that it would drain it down to zero. Now, if I know I'm not gonna use this thing for a week and I wanna shut it down, what I need to do is take that same button and press and hold it. And if I press and hold it, I'm gonna hear a series of tones. I'm gonna hear two quick beeps, then a three second delay, and then another third beep that's actually gonna make a sound that you clearly understand that it's shutting off. And then that light's gonna go out. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna press and hold here and we'll watch what happens and listen to those tones. So there was that three second gap, the final sound, and the light went out. So now I've turned it off. It's completely off. You're not gonna burn any battery and you're gonna be able to turn it back on in a week and have some juice there. So now you'll know that you did this properly the next time you turn it on, because if you just tap the button and you look at the light, it's not gonna be a solid light immediately. It's gonna blink. And it's gonna do this for about 10 seconds while it boots up the little computer that's inside your Sonos Roam. Um, after that light is shining and uh, solid, now you can start to stream music and you're ready to go. There's one other activity that this power button does that you might use quite often is connections with Bluetooth. If I press and hold and get to those first two tones and then let go of the button, it's gonna go into a Bluetooth mode. If it finds a phone nearby that it already connected to in the past, it'll connect with it almost immediately. Um, if it doesn't find a phone nearby that it's connected with Bluetooth on before or any other device, then it's gonna go into a flashing blue light and start to search for anything else to pair with. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna press and hold for two tones and then I'm gonna let go. Let go, I get a blink, it's searching for Bluetooth. I got another tone and it found my phone here that um, I'm connected to. So now if I turned my phone's Bluetooth off, the light goes back to white because I lost that Bluetooth connection. And now I'm gonna to try to do Bluetooth again and see what it does now. I'm gonna do press and hold for two tones. I let go. Blinking blue, blinking blue. It's trying to find anything out there on Bluetooth that it can connect to. But nothing's activated right now, so it's still searching. So I'm gonna ahead and turn on Bluetooth on my phone. And tell it to connect to the Roam. And there we go, solid blue light and I'm back connected to the Roam again. So that's what the buttons do in the back for power. I think it's not always clear. Um, I have another video out there where I explain a problem that I encountered with running the battery completely dead and this amber light down at the bottom here and how it was not clear to me what was going on when my battery was dead and how to get it back. So go ahead and check that video out as well. I think it's very helpful. Um, there's a, just a couple nuances about this new device that are a little bit frustrating and a bit unclear in the documentation about what's going on and how it works. Um, but I think if you know how this button works and the deal with the power being at low levels and that amber light, then you'll never have any problems with it. This device seems to work real well and it's very predictable. Hey, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up and that'll help other people find it as well. And have a great day.